You never know what you're going to get from a young pitcher to begin the season. But that didn't stop the Seminoles from naming Boomer Bigowski to the starting rotation. Well, I think the biggest thing he showed was the ability to throw three pitches for strikes. Um, and keeping us in ball games, pitching out of jams is what, what starters have to do. It was special um, being a weekend starter here, getting the announcement. Um, but you can only be happy for a little bit of time because then you got to go to work and you got to make sure you maintain that spot. Bigalski has done just that, rewarding the Knolls faith with a 5-3 and three record and a 3.51 ERA in his first season of Division I baseball. And the scary thing? The sophomore says he is just now getting comfortable. I think it was starting to click maybe closer to the end of this year. All my mechanics were getting in sync and it's just helped progress that our team has gotten a lot better and in sync all, in, all together. Just an experience game for him and then you know I, I feel that he's gained a lot of experience throughout this whole year and uh, you know it's, it's it's been fun to watch and fun to catch for him. The biggest drawback to a young pitcher is usually consistency yet Bigowski has been about as consistent as they come going at least five innings in all 13 of his starts. You just gotta go out there and repeat, um, gotta stay focused on what you're doing and you just can't lose sight of that. And, and usually with a junior college transfer such as Boomer, sometimes it takes a year to, to kind of settle in. So he kind of had to settle in on the fly. Um, he's done a great job, uh, giving his team an opportunity, chance, and a chance to win on Fridays, and, and we're expecting more quality starts from him down the stretch. A few more quality starts from the right-hander could position the Seminoles for postseason success, turning a beginning of the season question mark into an end of the year exclamation point. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.